Hey everybody, I'm Mary, your librarian here at SCTCC, and today is our first session of our Drop and Give Me 20 Minutes Student Success Series. Today we are talking about time management. Why are we doing this first? I'm just going to tell you because good management of your time and all of your tasks, this is absolutely the cheat code to good success while you're here in school. I like being in a school academic environment because the semester, it's definable. It's not just, I don't know, I'll get to it when I get to it. It's right here. It's now. September, December, we start, we stop. At the end, doesn't matter where you are, it's over. It's nice. So we can plot that out. We can plan it. We can make good decisions today. I don't I literally mean today that will make sure that the rest of your semester it's easy. You're not stressed out. You're not freaking out about how everything is jamming up on you here right at the end. You've got this. So let's make all that happen. You could do a million things to get yourself organized, do time management. That's great. All of that is great. We're going to talk about two basic things that are really going to get you there. First, use your calendar. So maybe you have a paper calendar. I have one. It's right over there. But I also have a Google Calendar. Google Calendar works great for me. Um, and of course, here at SCTCC, you have an Outlook Calendar. You can make those two calendars work together. Do whatever you want. I don't care what you're doing for a calendar format. Just get one. Do it. So let's say you're starting with your Outlook Calendar. Great. In this hand, get every single syllabus you have this semester. Print them out look at them online, don't care. Every single one, assemble them now. I assume you paused there for a moment while you went to go assemble. <laughs> All right, now over here, get a list of every single other thing you need to do. Now, you, maybe you have a part-time job, maybe you have a full-time job. Get those hours, know when you're going to work. Know when you're not at work. Know what days you're not going to be going to college. Yay, I love holidays. Uh, figure out when you're going to the doctor. Figure out when your kid needs to go to daycare. All of these things. Do you have a big trip planned in November? Great. Get those dates. Know when they are. This hand, we have all of your syllabi. This hand, you have all of everything else in your life. Now, Set them on the table in front of you. Open your online calendar. Maybe it's Outlook. Maybe it's whatever. Maybe it's a paper calendar. I don't care. Open your calendar. Now start writing every single thing down. Every single day that you have to go to class, maybe make a little note on the calendar. Today, I have biology. Now, we're flipping through the biology syllabus. Oh, Good Lord, look, here's a quiz happening in biology uh, the week of October 2nd. I'm going to put that on my calendar now. I have a 25-page paper due in biology, and it's due on the last day of the semester. I mean, it seems so far away right now, but the semester's short. So I'm going to go ahead and put that on my calendar right now. Now, with that one, I may also want to say, okay, bye. It's due at the December 15th. And by, I'm, you get that I'm making all these dates up, right? Yes. All right. My 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 25-page paper is due December 15th. But before that, I have to have a rough draft, and I have to submit a bibliography, and I have to submit um, – an outline and I have to check all my citations. Yes, check all your citations. Once you get, you start thinking about all the pieces to big product projects, you may want to put that on your calendar. This could be useful though in our second step, which we haven't made it to yet. We're still on calendar. Put everything on the calendar. Do you have an online class this semester? A lot of online classes you may be able to kind of do that when you want if it's not a synchronous class. So this is when you need to schedule yourself. You say, I've got an online class. A lot of it is not going to be, there's not going to be synchronous online days. We'll, we'll just work together when we, when we get the chance. I need to schedule for myself. I'm just going to say, I know Mondays are good for me. Mondays, awesome. Mondays from 10 until 12. That's when I do that online class. 
The teacher didn't tell me that. I told me that. I put it on my calendar. I blocked it out so I don't schedule anything else. Bam. See, you're already ahead. I'm just going to tell you right now that if you do this, you are going to be ahead of at least half of your classmates and getting work done. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Let's go to step number two. I'm going to share my screen so we can all see. This is called a Gantt chart. So I will send this to all the students here now. If you're watching this after I send it out and you don't have one, uh, just make one. It's fine. Or, I mean, you can get in touch with me if you need to, but you can clearly see this is not difficult to make. Now, I have across this axis right here, the, these are all the dates. So let's say this is September. How many days are in September? Looking at my calendar, 30. So all of these, I'm going to have something written down on them. Now, what do I need to do in September? I need to go to biology class. So I might write that here. Now, I would go to biology class on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So I put a note here. I put an X here. I color through this. I color through this. Every single day that I go to biology class, I have, I color in this square or you make an X or whatever you feel like doing. You do it there. All right. Now I'm also taking psychology. So I say go to psychology class and I'm taking statistics. Go to statistics class. I make notes all the way across there. Okay. That's easy. Now, what else do you have to do in the month of September? Oh, let's say I'm a member of the Pride organization. So I write that on here and I find the dates for that. And I'm like, okay, meeting here, meeting here. You don't have to jot down the times or anything. That's on your calendar. This is so that you can see the whole month together. All right, I have to take, let's see, I looked over my syllabi and I have to do a couple of small reflection papers. All right, let's see, reflection paper for psychology, reflection paper for English class. And I, I color in when those things are due, color, color, color. Now, when you get to the end, you will have a chart that has everything kind of blocked off that you're gonna need. Remember when we talked about the pieces of your 25 page biology paper that's gonna be due. Now I wanna get started on that. So I may say, you know, get started on biology paper. Maybe I'm looking for my resources here and I color all the way across here. This whole week I have set aside, I wanna make sure that in that week I'm looking for some of my resources for my biology paper. You'll be able to kind of just just glance at this and just say on the 16th, I have these things that all have to happen. It's going to make your uh, ability to kind of get things done easier. You don't have to worry about, oh, when does that happen? Is this a busy day for me? Do I have time to go to lunch? Do I have time to go outside, take a walk for a few minutes? I suggest put that on your schedule. Uh, it's really good for you to go outside, walk around 20 minutes a day. I suggest it. It's good for your physical health. It's good for your mental health. All of these are important parts of going to college. All right. That was a lot. I know. It's two things, but a lot of pieces to those things. It's going to feel like a lot of work to get all this done. I do all this for myself at the beginning of every semester, and it, it lowers my anxiety. It makes me feel better because I can just look at my charts. I know that it's everything is there. I can look at my Gantt chart. I can look at my calendar. I know that I have it all written down. I'm going to get reminders. It's going to make my semester easier. I'm going to be better. All of those are good things. All right. Now, if you have questions, you should come by the library because I will be so happy to see you. So again, I'm Mary. I am your librarian. This is my office and uh, come see me anytime. All right. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.